What's up, everybody? Joe White here, and we have some breaking CWF Mid-Atlantic news. Um, first off, I want to say that I don't know. I know there's a lot of questions coming out of this, um, and a lot, one of those questions is, is this a work? I don't know if this is... I don't think it's a work because of everything going on in the world today. I, I highly doubt that CWF would make a joke out of this. But then again, anything's possible in the wrestling business. So uh, whether or not this is a quote unquote work or not remains to be seen. I've get, been getting a lot of questions asking if I think this is a work or not. Um, we got word later earlier today, the, the official unofficial CWF after show got word today that Brad Stutz, the booker and, and play by play guy for CWF Mid-Atlantic, had been fired as of last night. Um, last night they had a Rising Generation League show in Gibsonville, North Carolina, in which Cool J, spoiler alert, Cool J captured the Rising Generation League title. Um, coming out of that show, a source here at the after show has revealed that Brad Stutz had been fired. Upon checking that source, I was asked to reveal who my source was, and I ha and I did so. I'm not going to be like that Evolve podcast, you know, the one that follows Evolve around, where they are not going to review reveal their sources. I believe in what's doing and in, in doing what's good for the best of the promotion. So I revealed my source, and I, I'm assuming that that's been been dealt with um, to that source. Let me just say, you know, hey, I, I I got you know I got asked to do it. So for the benefit of me, for the benefit of the show, and for the benefit of the promotion, more importantly, I did it. But it turned out that source was correct because today at around 9.34 p.m., this tweet was sent out on the official CWF Mid-Atlantic Twitter account, and it reads as follows. CWF Mid-Atlantic recently learned that Brad Stutz has been engaging in what we believed is quote-unquote inappropriate behavior. The behavior attributed to Stutz does not align with the standards and values of CWF Mid-Atlantic. We have reviewed the matter and as a result have severed ties. Now what this tells me right here, guys, is the fact that, it's that inappropriate behavior in quotes, you know, it could be, you know, it's in quotes because it's subjective. Whatever you think inappropriate behavior is, they're not coming out and saying what this is. A lot of people already responding to the tweet and, uh, it's very much if this is true. If the, uh, and and here's the thing: never say never in the wrestling business. So, but I'm going off what we learned uh, this morning. Um, I went to Grant Sawyer, the te technical director, about this and checked it. You know, you always check your sources. You always check. Hey, is this true? I went to the guy. Is this true? I didn't get an answer. Well, now again, we have our answer with this tweet that was sent out about 10 minutes ago, as of this recording. What does this mean for CWF Mid-Atlantic going forward? What does it mean for the promotion that shocked the world pretty much and shocked the indie world in 2017 by giving such great matches and great performances that were booked primarily by this man? What do you think about this situation? Leave it in the comments below. Again, this is not made to sensationalize. It's not made to get views. I know that's what a lot of people are thinking, but... I wanted to do, honestly, I wanted to do a video of this when I found out. Um, we've been doing the after show here for about 34 weeks. That's not going to stop. Um, it's going to be curious to see that if this situation, you know, goes on, a lot of people out there are saying that this has to do with, you know, one or two people have messaged me going, do you think that uh, Brad is going to WWE to do the scribe deal with Matt Hardy? That could be a possibility here. That could be the inappropriate behavior that they're talking about here. Um, again, I'm not saying it's a work, but never say never in the wrestling business. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Um, he did, I, I will spoil one thing for you for Battlecade. So if you don't want to know what happens at the end of Battlecade X8, thank you. Tune off now. Please, please be sure to join us Wednesday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern on the official, unofficial CWF Mid-Atlantic After Show. But at the end of the Trevor Lee Roy Wilkins match, something does happen to Stutzy that could t potentially write him out in storyline, and or if this is true, write him out for real. We don't know if it's a work or not. A lot of people saying maybe they'll he'll be back. We don't know, but I feel like as just as the official unofficial after show for the promotion, again official unofficial after show. Um, it, it's it's my quote unquote job to report stuff like this. And again, breaking news: CWF Mid Atlantic severing ties 
with Brad Stutz over quote unquote inappropriate behavior. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I'm on Twitter at Joe Pillar Post. This video is brought to you by our friends at American Lucha Designs at American Lucha on Twitter. If you need any graphic designing done, again, just had to do a short video here. Let me know what you think in the comments below.